<sighs> Hi, I'm host Eric, host talking with famous people. It's odd how much a person's perspective on the universe can can vacillate with one's mood. So right now I'm dealing with some irritants that are highly annoying, but are naturally occurring phenomena, I suppose. How do we deal with it when we're frustrated with somebody? And we want to resolve things, but we don't necessarily want to win, but it's one of those things where you can't just not resolve the core issue, right? There are some things about which you can't resolve the core issue. You can't end it without resolving the core issue. So, if the core issue is one of execution, you can proceed without resolving it. Because execute something else related. Not a problem. If the core issue is one of hierarchy, well, that shouldn't really ever be a problem. The decision should be made according to the validity of the decision making, not according to the power of the individual. Obviously, I, as a business owner, am going to make decisions for my business, but the reason I make the decisions I do is because they're the best decisions to make, not because they're what I feel like. It's not based on whim or something, you know? So, it shouldn't really ever be an issue of hierarchy, although if there is, it would stem from the fact that there's a genuine disagreement about what the best course of action is. Um, to the extent that that's the case, then that would mean the person, the party other than me is wrong. Because either if they're right, I'm looking for the best idea. I'm not looking for my idea. And if I didn't go with theirs, or if I'm telling them that, like, you know, these these thoughts you're having are fun ideas, but not business, then just take that to heart. At any rate, one of the difficulties that people sometimes face in life, I'm very grateful I haven't faced and it's serving, it's serving me well now as I go in the ups and downs of difficult living. Um, yeah, it's tough to get what you want too early because you don't recognize it for what it is. You don't value it very highly. It's one of the risks of uh, dealing with young people in general and they lack perspective so you're, you're building their perspective as they're experiencing it and sometimes perspective is not a lesson easily learned hi, hi delilah yeah. good you want to come say hi to the talking with fan people audience it's different though that's the thumbnail. I'm going to get way more traffic now. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I look really gross right now. Yeah, you look disgusting. <laughs> okay. <there you laughs> this is how I get traffic is have my daughter stand in the picture. And people are like, oh, that chick's hot. I'm going to click on that picture. And then they get me. So you have five minutes of me and ten seconds of her. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, baby. I love you. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. You know... It's just, it's all about perspective, right? It's about having had the experiences to you know, put yourself in the shoes of multiple perspectives such that you can weigh them against one another and understand what's true and what's important and what's not true and what's not important. And so, you know, I think I'm starting to deal with conflicts a little bit better in general. Establishing clear criteria. That's part of the problem that I tend to not establish clear boundaries, clear criteria. Like, well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it gets me in trouble.
Thanks for watching.